Yeah, 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 it's over, bro. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to mention, uh, I don't know if you guys want some coconut oil. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh... What's wrong with this? How you think that's pretty good? It ain't gonna end in it. But you can't be on squeezing these in there. No, I ain't really nothing. I ain't using it. It's, um... It's just... It's not dab and stuff, it's edibles. Okay, sure. Yeah. How you feel, Roger? No, I'm a smoke punch. <laughs> edibles be fucking me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, if you're not an edible we had person. An edible experience, it was crazy. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. So that's why I asked her. I'm down, though. I'm definitely down. Alright, I'm gonna. Uh... Sure you... hmm. I'm gonna hit you with. Or... Yeah, I just drink it, right? Yeah, drink okay, it. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna join you though, cause it's the last one of the day. Shit, we lit. <laughs> if I get emotional, my bad. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know why, man. This shit, like, a good five milliliters gets me like, like zoning, man. For real, in there. Sure. Yeah. Salud. Cheers. Cheers. Don't taste like none, like, it's pretty good. It's like I didn't even drink anything. Yeah, I know, yeah. Ew, that was weird. Uh, but when you start burping, you, you taste it. <laughs> Oof. You mind if I flame it, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do your thing, do your thing, man. Oh, all right. Squeezo, thank you for coming to the podcast, man. I really appreciate it, bro. I appreciate you for having me. Yeah, yeah, man. It's definitely an honor. Um, I met you at the food drive um, featured by uh, Gravity. Shout out Gravity, man. Shout out Gravity, bro. Also. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I was definitely a dope fan. Check it out. And uh, shout out Kid Griffey and uh, all the other artists that was there. Like, uh, yeah, um, you, you had the whole legacy, uh, Kid Griffey, J, Dre Skrilla, um, was there a female that sang or rapped there? Yeah, Marina, she's also in legacy. E, bro, yeah, man, I didn't know that. Oh, no, no, I'm good, bro, shit, I won. yeah, yeah, I, I don't smoke lungs. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 bro. Real? It, um, congests oh. my, my, uh, lungs. I'm sorry, bro, all blood. No, 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 you do your thing, bro, I, I'm good, trust me, but, uh. Yeah, you'll see later, but yeah, man, you're definitely good. I'm going to bring papers next time we link. No, no, we no. got to do this, but whenever we kick it next time, definitely papers. No, 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 bro. You definitely do your thing, bro. Uh, me, just personally, I just can't put the blunts, bro. Trust okay. me. Yeah, um, but yeah, man, great artist at the show, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, So I, I met you, bro, and... uh. You definitely showed me love by taking some time to talk about yourself to help me with the video, man. I really appreciate that. For sure. But man, that was what like last year of November. Yeah, like November. No, December. November, December. Like I think it was like December twenty third or something. No, no, no. It was like when was it? Like second. Second, maybe. For December. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. So. Yeah, we're barely getting to the podcast in February, man. So I definitely thank you for being patient. So I appreciate you bringing me up. Yeah, like yeah. I'm about keep telling you, man. Mm. Anything's better than doing nothing. Yeah, when man. someone appreciates your art, that's special. Yeah, yeah, man. And the one thing I love about music artists, bro, is, um, you know, music artists and drawing artists, like... We have a lot in common because the way you put yourself out there is the same way I'm trying to put you know, myself out there. But to be honest, and definitely uh, correct me, man, because, uh, you know, I definitely do get stuff wrong. But um, 
I feel like music artists have a harsher critique or judgment because you know you're working off sound. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Well, I guess we're trying to get everybody like you know ear and everything like that with well, art. I feel like I seen the different side of that because my girlfriend's an artist also. So yeah. like you know what I'm saying, we go to art galleries and all types of stuff like that. So I'm seeing the different side of that, and it is the same like you're saying, like yeah. so. But yeah, mainly I guess it's just we just trying to get everybody's like ear. I be trying to catch like people's ear in a different way, like stuff they never heard before. Yeah, like to make it sound completely different. Like yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, but I'm sorry to cut you off, but before we really get into your music, man, the first episode of every podcast, I like to get as much backstory or upbringing of every guest that comes on. Okay. So, like, you know, where were you born? Where you grew up? Uh, I was born in Chicago. Oh, no way. Yeah, What's Trinity that? Hospital. Uh, Southside. No way. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too, bro. Fucking, um... I don't know what fucking hospital. My mom told me I was born in trash can or something. I don't believe that. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely a Chicago baby. Uh, Southside. Yeah. yeah, it's in our blood, man. It's in our blood. For real. Uh, I moved here around. I was like seven years old, like second grade. Second grade. Yeah, and I went to that uh, school, in Washington, on the South Side. Yeah. This is on Linden. It's a couple blocks from my island. So that's how I like ended up seeing you know what I'm saying Dre and all of them because they were always walking around. But I ain't never leave the block because I'm not from it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I used to be on the block in Chicago and stuff, but I ain't never really had no friends that attached like they did up here. So once I got up here, I went to school, elementary school for a while in Washington up till fifth grade. Went to middle school, and that's when I started getting into more music because my mom used to rap. Back in the day no in way. Chicago, I remember going Ooh. to the studio with them. I yeah. my brother's dad, and like he, he used to sell CDs and stuff out here, like, like for real. Like, it was cool. But yeah, like that's how I really got into music. My mom, she used to rap. She was even about to open up for Eminem one time. No yeah. shit. But it like fell through, like something happened, like he didn't come. Like, which was cool. I got to open up for her like a couple months ago. Yeah, you want an ashtray or something? Yes, Sorry about that. Dude, so so you would say that your mom is where you got your music from. Definitely, definitely. What what when was the first time you listened to music or or is she, what was the first thing she showed you? Uh Tupac. Tupac? That's her favorite artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like she was instantly hitting me with Tupac and you know you know how uh People are about artists. She's like, yeah, your dad. Oh, dad. Well, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, she's just pulling around. But, what was it? Just that era, or did she go back old school? Nothing uh, different. Nothing. Like I had to look into that mostly myself, other than like my grandparents. You know what I'm saying? Because it was just me and my mom, my grandparents going up. Okay. So like. I was just like, they bring me back into like music like Smokey Robinson and stuff like that. But I used to listen to a lot of, uh, like I was telling my girl earlier, like Mary J. Blige and stuff, and uh, LL Cool J, stuff like that. Like, yeah. that's what like got me into rapping more. Like, I like the way they was going and things. Like, it was different, so it was hard. It's hard. What, what would you say was your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Yeah. Uh, 50. 50? 50 uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like when he first came out, or yeah, because my mom shit. put me on him. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because I, I wasn't in the internet and all that stuff back then. I was outside, so like she'd be bringing CDs or buying stuff and bringing music to us all the time, and we just be hearing it. Like Fifty Cent was the first one that we was like, yeah, this is hard. Like we gotta start going hard like this. And that was where it took off. Really, I started thinking about like. Maybe I could do this because I didn't really think about nothing else I want to do other than music, honestly. Mm -hmm. like, it just feels right. Like, if I'm doing music, I feel at my happiest than what I'm doing, like, at a nine to five, doing something else. You know what I'm saying? And what age did you, would you say you this came into your mind? Uh, 14. 14? Yeah. Because, oh, sure. like, I wasn't even on Island still by that time. I was still doing my own thing. 
Okay. Yeah. And then I, uh, you know, I always knew Dre, but I didn't know he rapped. Like he, like for a while, I did not know he rapped. And then we actually linked up one time, and I was already in a group called LGC. No, not not LGC. I'm saying Legacy. It was LCT. <laughs> oh, okay. LCT. <laughs> Dude. Lost City Thugs. Oh, okay. And I was in that group for a while. And then this group was in Chicago? I mean, Chicago, uh, Rockford? Yeah, it was at Rockford. Okay. It was with, uh, it was with this guy, well, he knew, I knew he took me under his wing for a minute with this rap and stuff and showing me all this, like, you know what I'm saying? All that, his name, Goofy. Um, I thought you my nickname. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was real common, man. Yeah, yeah. Southside stuff, for real. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I met up with Goofy and he put me in a group with LCT. Hmm. And then for a while, like, and then, all right, so then I met Dre again. Like, I knew Dre, but then he came over one time. I was with my homie Looney. He rapped too. He was uh, with uh, Ill Boys. Hmm. They was in a group too, but we used to rap together. That's my best homie. So we was on the, on Lincoln. Dre came over there and rapped for the first time in the basement. He ripped it. And I was instantly locked in yeah yeah like he ripped it like he was ahead of his time he still is right now yeah like, I, I definitely fuck with music man like man i stay looking up to dre and that's why i go as hard as i do like we we really locked in since the rmz thing it's like our bloodline dude and when you see him spit bro for the first time were you like where the fuck yeah i was like because you know <laughs> what i'm saying you could look at other cities and be like they got people from their city that's like thinking, not like everybody else going crazy trying to make some of themselves. And we got somebody like this. I felt like Dre was that. So I had to get on the bandwagon and I stopped being with LCT and I joined RMZ. Mm. And I was on Island from then on out. Okay. And what? Before all this, though, how did you start? music what was did your mom teach you anything or was it all just self-taught from just seeing her yeah like she used to sit us down and like tell us the right raps because like we'll oh, be really? up here and like she'll <laughs> give us this thing like right a b c d e o g all that the whole alphabet at the top of the thing and then like just try and run oh, really? everything like right like that she used to tell us to do that and eventually we got real good at that she used to try and take us to the studio. We used to rap a lot, like when we was young. Mm. And then eventually, we was like, we started noticing everybody else rap. Like we ain't never really say nothing. I'm always quiet and I listen. So like, I like to listen to people. Did that feel like homework to you? Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I always study everything. That's okay. How I, be, I think a lot, so that's how. I am. Oh shit. Um... Me, bro, if my mom would have had me doing that, bro, I would have been crying the whole time, ripping up the paper, like, oh, it's, it's ripped. It was just something I felt interesting, bro, because, like, all right, I could say once I did start hearing music and understanding it and, like, what it could do for people and make people, like, hear it and stuff, I felt like I could probably, like, change, like, the world with music or lead a nation. And when, when do you think this, man? Like, I was like... The same time you, you, you figured... 14? Yeah, 14. 14? Yep. That's when I started taking it real, real serious. Okay. Like straight into high school and stuff like that because I was already rapping like two summers before that. I was going hard. Like basically, like building myself up. Mm. Well, it's the whole time to like start making tapes and stuff and like actual music. So, so no. Was it hard for you? At first? I mean, at first. Huh? It wasn't hard. Really? Uh, nah. It was just fun. Cause like, you gotta take it as it being fun. It's not really a job or nothing. So yeah. I just felt like it was just natural. Just having fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. That... Having fun ain't hard. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. Um, But I imagine for some people, making music is like a job. Yeah, I think eventually it could get like that. Like, if it's repetitive, something repetitive, eventually it's going to take that effect on you, I guess. But, like, it just depends on how you take it. Like, if I'm going to take it as, like, it's just fun all the time, I'm going to take it as, like, I'm going to go have fun doing this. And, like, you don't really think of it like I'm going to keep doing the same thing. You just don't expect to have fun out of it. And when was your first time making a track and, uh, and I was is it like 13 
And uh, is and is everything you made bent under IB squeeze on? No, I had like multiple. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had multiple. My first one though, was like Young KC. Okay. Yeah, because that was like my initials and stuff like that. Yeah, dude, uh, that's something I got to ask because I never knew like some artists do go under other names at times. Yeah. Oh, my name? No, 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 no. I, I was just saying, like, if that's something agreeable, because you know, yeah, I don't know. I would, yeah, yeah, my you know. name's Kevin. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's a cool name, Kevin. <laughs> but I can never get a nickname out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Hey, Kevin. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm always Kevin. Yeah. So I had to find some and build a different person. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm probably gonna start calling Kevin. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's gonna attach like that, like, cause I'm so cool. It's like that's Kevin, bro. Like you yeah. can't really be like, ah, squeeze. <laughs> yeah, bro. But but squeeze is that's definitely a cool. Yeah, 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 I be squeeze That's me too. Also, show for show. So your your first track was under I, I K, or what was it? Uh, Young Casey. Yeah, yeah Young yeah. Casey. Yeah, for real. I got a couple. Of, Shoot, they probably on YouTube still. Yeah, I was gonna say, where can you find some? Yeah, of these? you can find it on YouTube. It's, yeah. it's tragic. Like, <laughs> I was trying, well, yeah, why you say that? Like, hard, say that? Like, cause I wasn't going my hardest back then. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just having fun. Like, I wasn't really being precise. But like, yeah, I'm better now. So, and did you learn from those, or did you just continue to having fun until somebody told you, "Hey, uh, you got something, but you need to kind of fix it up"? Or yeah, on me. Like, I heard that a couple times. Like, people tell me all the time, like, like you going crazy, bro, but you need to be, you need to speak up more or something like that. Because I am like, like, I talk like, but like, shit, other than that, yeah, that's like the only thing I heard. Like, I just need to speak up more and like, uh, you know, be more bold in my like lyrics and stuff like that. So that's like the most criticism I got out of. It was like a couple times when I was younger, then lately. And and I like some criticism lately because I want to know what people want to hear anyway. So to help me build as artists, so I can tell them what they or give them what they want to hear. <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, is your mom and yourself the only? Wait, did I say this already? Mm-hmm. If are you the only music artist besides your mom? Nah, my uh little brother. Oh really? Yeah. Is he also with you guys? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not LGC, but he's with us. Oh, okay, okay. It's an island thing, though. Know? Yeah. Um, what's it called? Does he have any music with you? Yeah, he's on my tape actually. The uh. I'm gonna squeeze tape. The first in a month track. That's him? Yeah. Kenny or yeah. uh I forgot the name. Kenny Rounds. Yeah, Kenny Rounds was. Yeah. I was gonna say, bro, that's one of my favorites, bro. Yeah, that's my little brother. Uh, uh, shut yeah. up. Yeah. We, we was the ones that was on, you know what I'm saying? Right now. A, B, C, D, all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was my little brother. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say he's lyrical, man. Yeah, he's hard. I want him to he got a lot. He got a lot for everybody. Is does he have more besides that with you? Oh. Uh, yeah, we got a lot more. Okay, okay, a lot more. Yeah, like we working on stuff now. We got like old stuff we've been holding. Like we got a lot, and all of it's under squeeze on now, or someone's just old. Oh no, yeah, it's under squeeze on now. Because okay. I gotta change it before we put it out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I feel man. Um. First time, well, first time in the studio. How was that like for you? Was it exciting or was it nothing new because you kind of been around there already? Or yeah, I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm finna rap. Like, yeah, it's shit hard. Like, I'm finna rap, so it was funny. And I was in the basement too, so it was like a scene out of a movie. What well, was it like a house house studio or a professional? No, nah, just a house studio in the basement, but it was like as professional as it got back then. Like, oh, okay, yeah, like, yeah. In that time period, we was we went hard, but it wasn't like 
Nah, it was just like behind like some clothes hanging up on the thing. It was hard. Yeah, it was real hard. Shit, I mean, look at mine, bro. I mean, I wish I could have a nice uh, studio office, but you know, I gotta work before I can. Especially yeah, right yeah, now. it is a nice thing. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Man. Beautiful too. Yeah, yeah thank sure. you, man. Love your art. <laughs> Yeah, appreciate it, man. First time performing. Uh, I was in Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. I was, like, at a coffee shop in Georgia. Uh, my cousins, they got this, like, radio station in Georgia. It's, like, a Christian kid radio station. Yeah. It's called um, Eminem Radio. I don't know if they still doing it now, but it was a minute ago. They were really good. But... They uh they told us about this uh talent show or something down there and we wrote this song like in one night and then the talent show came up. We went out there and I forgot my lyrics. <laughs> like, what what it, a nervousness or high or I was nervous. I wasn't smoking back then. Oh, okay, but, okay. Yeah. I was nervous. Like, damn. Do, do you remember how many people were there? Uh, it was a couple, like, a dub. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And what did you do, bro? Did you just stand there for your your act time, or did you just... No, nah, what happened? <laughs> I was like, okay. So, I forgot my lyrics. My brother knew his. My older brother was rapping, too. Like, I, he did his he did his part right. I it came to my part. I forgot it. I was like, shit. So then we left, <laughs> and I think I went back on, and they put on another beat, and I did my other song. Okay. okay. So I did that. I remember that. But like, and were you squeezed at this time? No, I was like. K I D. Okay, okay. That's all I call myself once more. It was it stood for like Kevin is dope. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I should have yeah. kept that all the time. <laughs> oh, I got a song out with that too. Like it's a song with my cousin Cam and I just dropped a song with him. Uh, oh the remix. Yeah, the yeah. remix. Yeah, I just dropped a song with him. Check that out. Souls remix by Cam. Yeah, yeah, Souls, yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you want to remix that one? Uh my cousin hit me, he was like, bro. Send me that. Like, yeah. It's hard. And I love doing music with my cousin. Like, my brother. Like, he's more of a brother than a cousin. So I'm like, a, a cousin like, in Rockford? or uh, No, he's from Milwaukee because I moved to Milwaukee. I graduated in Milwaukee. I like, only spent like till my junior year here. Oh. Then I went to Milwaukee my senior year and graduated. Got my GED. Oh, sure. Congrats, man. Yeah. What made you want to come back? Uh, family. My mom came back first. I was in Georgia, like I said. And shit, I had to come back, see, make sure everybody was good. I've been back ever since. Going you know, crazy with this music. Shit. Yeah, and after you come back, you do your thing for a little bit, and then you meet LGC or? No, nah, you know, I, I knew Dre and them since, like, I was young, like, real young. So, like, we always been locked in. Like, since I've been moving, we always been, like, talking to each other since then. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, okay, okay. Even when we was in Milwaukee, we'll come back and stuff like that. So we finally just came back and like we got back in tune with everybody. So we're about. Mm. Uh, let, let, let's keep going. Um, how do you how do you like to process your music, or how what's your process to making your music, bro? Uh, sure. If I'm in the studio, I write it around everybody and then like say stuff and see what their reaction is. If they like it or like if they laugh at it, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. But like if I'm by myself, I like do it and think about what everybody thinks. I think about everybody else instead of kind of myself sometimes. But I think about, I uh, put myself into the music. So it's like describing myself to everybody and thinking about what they think. Do you need to feel the beat first before you start thinking of lyrics? Or do you 
think of lyrics and then try to find the beat. Uh, well, if I want to write to a certain beat, I guess I gotta hear it. But like, I could write like just something out out the blue. But like, yeah, I could like I need to feel the beat, I guess, before I start writing. It'll feel better and then make the song you know, give it more meaning. And do you need to be in the studio every time to like feel the music, you know, to like get inspiration, or it can be from anywhere? No, I can be anywhere. I can write a song right here, for real. Yeah, man, after doing that much homework, this would be a great spot to write a song too. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, what would you say would be your first? Collab. Uh, with Looney. Yeah. Yeah. And before then, were you just making solo tracks? Or just doing solo verses in a way? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I was just doing that, like. No, nah, honestly, I started off on features. Oh, really? Yeah, like with Looney. Because, like, he's, he'll make a song. And I just hop on it. And that's how we was doing it for like a whole summer. We was just riding to our stuff like around the south side and stuff going to Risa and everything. Right. And and how would you meet up with people like, or how would you, in a way, network? Would you just show people your music or would you just put it out there and then let people find you? At, at one point, shit. Um... I ain't know nothing about the internet back then, so what we did, we was just like Playing going out. to Goofy and shit. And Goofy was doing all that shit, and like or uh, Looney, Looney was doing that shit too. But I was just be going to them about that shit, and then we would get CDs made, and we got a whole bunch of CDs made, right? So my mom had a whole bunch of CDs, like you know what I'm saying, just the music, and I took all her cases and put our CDs in them. And then we took them to school and passed them out at Jefferson. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And everybody listened to our stuff. It was cool. It was real cool. Mm -hmm. That's how a lot of people knew we were up too. And and you didn't charge, bro? You just handed them out? Ugh. I feel that's stupid. It's something I love to do. I ain't gonna charge you for that. Yeah, that's Especially cool. if they don't know what I sound like. Mm -hmm. Like, I want new fans every day. I don't want to charge nobody for that. I just want to change people's minds about stuff. Do you still do hard copies? I can, but I haven't. I have to get you up for that. But, man, we're about that time for the smoke room. Well, we've been in the smoke room, but sure. we're, we're definitely going to take a little break. Uh, definitely stick with us. And if not, definitely go check out IB Squeezo on all music platforms on Instagram. I mean, now that we're in the smoke room, bro, I wanted to ask you why the lemons? Uh, I like lemonade. Really? Yeah. I actually not uh, like lemony tasting weed, I thought. Yeah, only lemon squeeze. <laughs> Freshness. Yeah. But, but what what made you pick that? Uh, the lemon. Yeah, I feel like that's also hard to like. You know, like I mean, work with your work with the image. You know. Yeah, like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could work with any idea, but like music wise. Like, hmm, how would you come off with the lemon? Like, a lot of things, like, push me towards the lemon, too, because, like, like I said, I like lemonade. Yellow is a cool color. And then, like, a lot of times, like, Dre would tell me, because, like, growing up in Rockford is tough sometimes. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It'll get to people and shit like that. So he used to tell me, like, like I feel like this place kind of turns you sour. You know what I'm saying? Like, he used to tell me, that, like, as we grew up more and more, he used to tell me, like, kind of turned me sour because I used to be more joyful and, like, happy and play a lot more. So I guess, you know, growing up will do that to you and stuff.
And I low key that's some Jedi shit, Drake. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's definitely dope though, man. The the idea and the Well what he said. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he be peeping a lot of stuff. He got that third eye thing going on. God body. Did he guide you? Is did did he guide you in the music? Or who guided you? Say. I say like, yeah, he he definitely did guide me through the music. Like, after I stopped messing with like LCT and all of that, and like even Looney for a while, cause he just stopped doing his thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like, <clears throat> after I got with Dre, shit just like started making more sense, cause like the people we were around, like our whole group, like it was like made up over. It. People like from the south that we already knew, like it was pretty cool, so it just fit. And 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 if I ask anything that doesn't make you comfortable, bro, definitely let me know. Uh, I I apologize. No, you good. But were you always involved in the music, like straight edge? Nah. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, bro. I, I I appreciate what everybody says about my art, but it would have been better and different now if I was more on it when I was younger, but I wasn't because yeah. I, I, I took a different path when I was young to try to be this cool kid that had good weed, you know, or smoked a lot, you know, that was, yeah. I, so I definitely, I, I definitely got distracted from my art did you ever go through something like that yeah like i guess like i say like like choices distracted me from my like art but i was trying to get that shit together but a whole bunch of shit started happening i couldn't control so i had to handle that before i could even think about focusing on my dream yeah you know what i'm saying but like it's all good. Like I know it takes time, and I was just patient. I'm always patient. What made you stick to it now, or did you just still playing with it? Well, I'm uh going harder than I have before. Like, I say that I'm going harder than I have before, and then plus the people that I've been with, like LCG or LGC. So, we're going to build each other up. Yeah, my, my bad if I do get slower. Um, I am pretty stoned, bro. But, I'm fine, too. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's about no, it's about that forty-two minute. Usually, the coconut thing does hit around the like forty-five to fifty minute. Yeah. Oh. Is that your favorite? What coconut? Is that your favorite? Oh no, dude! There's times where I get so high, I start contemplating about life and shit. That's where the emotional comes in. So know. it's like. When they're here, we just gonna be like, just gone, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. no, to an average smoker, it doesn't hit as hard, but like me, I, I don't use it as much because you smoke more because that coconut oil is that strong that every time you take it, your tolerance goes up. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that, that was the first, the one I took with you, bro, was the first one of the day in like several weeks. Yeah, 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 I really don't eat it like that because that motherfucker gets me. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to the studio. I'm gonna make a bomb ass song. Oh, okay, cool. Because <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad that you were on the couch. I'll be like, look what you did, <laughs> A to Z. Look what you did. <laughs> like I didn't mean to do. <laughs> yeah, no. How long do you? How how much time do you like to spend on the studio? In the studio. As much time as I can, but like everything pop up, I can't stay there forever. If I could, I would, but I can't, basically. 
where do you go, bro? Do you go to like a house one here? Now, well, I'm saying now, like now, do you go to a a house studio or it doesn't matter wherever, wherever uh, you can? Shit, I go to, um, do, like, do you like to go now to a professional studio or a house studio? Okay. House buy- studio right now. It feel good, but. You know what I'm saying? I'm down for any studio, professional, or anything. Yeah, my bad if I'm mis- misplacing my words, bro. Nah, no, you good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Island Boys, bro, is that LGC or is that just. Nah, it's separate. Okay, I was yeah, but sure. it's like together, like they 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 together, but like it's separate, like they two different things. Like, okay. you know, cause I'm CEO of Island Boys too, so it's Kenny Rounds and a uh, big guy. And and the reason why I bring that up, bro, is because you know I I didn't bring it up with Dre or Katie because I forgot, but you know I was. I told myself I was going to bring it up with you. Sin, because when you say Island Boys, bro, just, you know, the white boys. Yeah. Island Boys. Yeah. Yeah, no, we not. Uh, and, and, yeah, like, what was your thought when 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 they came around saying Island Boys? Because <laughs> a little story, bro, like, I, I, I use my Z, like, my thing is Z Studio. That's my brand. Yeah. But I use the Z mostly, right? And I and I feel like people um, relate me to Gen Z. Yeah, I feel that. When I'm not, you know. Nah, yeah. I'm a 90s baby. Well, I say I feel like they doing their thing, whatever they doing. But like, hell no, we not connected to them. <laughs> we ain't like them in no way. We ain't nuts. We ain't them. None of that. You know? No, but what was your thought? Like, damn, man, what the fuck are they saying Island Boys, man? Yeah, I was like, I mean, but shit, they from wherever they from. Yeah. They they probably somewhere floating on a real island, but we talking about the block, you know what I'm saying? The uh, street. Hell yeah, yeah. Damn, they're rocking. We on an island, you feel me? You feel like it. Uh-huh. And did that take you from the... Music, or you always had music with you? So, no, I ain't really taking from the music. My bad, bro. I'm having a brain fart, bro. But yeah, yeah. Um, what is your favorite type of your tape? Yeah, your favorite type of music to go on to, like, like R and B type of vibe, hard rap or trap. I feel like we have like smooths. Shit. Smooth vibes, you know, like or yeah, I don't like, know what you want to call it, genre. I don't like what 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 type of like music I like to listen to. I know, uh, go on, you know, like the type of the the mu- oh, like like when I rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. About that. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry I hear what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, man. So, like, Shit, I like to look like like a type of artist. I could say an artist. Yeah. Like Playboy Cardi, Uzi, uh, the Chief Key, Salsa. Because we in Illinois, so I got to do that. From the city, so. Yeah. 
Wait, yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. If you want to backtrack. When you moved to Rockford, bro, how was that for you? Shit, it was cool because we were moving from a project. Like, I knew where we were moving from. We were moving from uh, Argyle Gardens. That's out there in, like, somewhere outside of Chicago. Like, it's on the south side, though. It's like a, it's a cutoff community. It's nice now, but that shit was treacherous back then, so we had to get up out of there. And we just moved up here. It was cool. It seemed quiet. Yeah, and I know, was dude. Living there. I mean, for me, it was a little bit scary, bro. I mean, I was, I wasn't in, I wasn't in the worst neighborhood in Chicago, but there definitely was a lot of uh, shootings and gangs around my block, man. Um. But it seemed it seemed busier. When I got here it seemed a lot spread out. Um a lot more spread out, so that kinda scared me in a way. I thought it was more like a countryside area we were moving to. I was young, like I oh seven. Uh, I was born ninety three. I forgot what age I was exactly. But I was I was I was dumb. Generally, most of my life, bro. So, the way I perceived Rockford was more more scary than I should have. I thought of it as like a suburb or something. Really? Yeah, because I was like, where I was coming from, I was like, man, it was like nice. Cause my dad was up there too. Hmm. So, like, he's still up there. Yeah, I know. When I was living in Chicago, bro, my cousins were from Chicago and they would visit us and I was like where is it? it sounds like a countryside little this shit like, nice I was like this shit is nice compared to what I was like I was like fuck that yeah bro it was just different bro like the school system too here cause if I think about it, like shit I was young and say I wanted to go live with my dad if I would've lived with my dad I probably would've been dead or something shot or something like that because like they living crazy up there especially around that time when i was young i would have grew up in all that drill shit then it would have been all up in that it would have been crazy yeah i know the same thing that parents <laughs> be saying a whole, a whole person. yeah like if i would continue i mean because when i was growing up bro, i was little you know like my family knew the block so they knew i was just the little homie, you know, but I guarantee I, it would have been like that if I would continue to live there. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has to be on one side, on the side, right? But um, yeah, man. And would would you say you would? You use emotion in your lyrics, or yeah, and you use it to to feel the music as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I definitely do. Like, wait, which one would you say? You don't have to. Well, if you want, up to you. Shit, I use a lot of like. I feel like I put a lot of loss into my music. Which one gets you? You listen to your music? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I love my music. I listen to it all the time. No, yeah. Um. How? I mean, this is gonna sound dumb, bro. But um, how do you record when you go into the studio? You, like, you yeah. do you listen to yourself in the headphones, or do you hear it through? Speakers all together? No, I do headphones. Yeah, I put it through the headphones. I just rap. Shit. Yeah, yeah, just uh, kick rap from my high. That's it. That's it. Do you when do you when you make music, bro? Do you smoke? Not not while you make music, but like, do you use it before you make music? Shit, sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes I won't be high when I make the music. 
some of the songs on uh on the squeeze. I won't even have. Mm. Yeah, like, shit. Oh my, oh my. And I, I'm just saying, so, like, do you, do you think that helps vocally? Sort of, in my way. That's the way I make it. So, the way I want it to sound, yeah. That's cool, bro. And, and the reason why I asked earlier, bro. <laughs> The how you record, bro, is just because I wonder how everybody, every music artist records. Because Kid Griffey, shout out Kid Griffey, that was yeah, just shout fun. out my boy. Yeah, he was telling me that he doesn't listen to himself while he records. For real? Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, I, I, uh, when you watch the podcast, he he tells me <laughs> right there, bro. We gotta do some music together. I want to do a whole bunch of music with him. Yeah, but he said he doesn't use he doesn't listen to himself in the headphones. He waits uh, until he spits his verse, uh, and then he li- yeah. I hope I'm not putting him out there. So nah, that's not bad. Yeah, cause he yeah. If you guys check out the podcast before this one, cause he was just on. He, he mentions it right there, and I'm even like, what? At this tape or his EP. That shit was hard. Yeah, dude, and I'm just like, dude, uh, I would imagine you would have to listen to yourself so you can imagine how it's going. That's my man. Yeah, bro. But yeah, he shout out Kid Griffey. Fucking dope. Where? Well, what's your plan for your music this year, bro? Shit. More people to listen to it. Get more people ears. That's all I want. Are you gonna? Did we talk about you releasing an album? Besides... Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm actually releasing the EP. And I am work. I'm working on another project. Bro. Uh, I don't know. I don't wanna give up the. No, no, that's fine, bro. Yeah. Stuff, so we don't. Know. Yeah, because you have, and definitely correct me if I'm wrong, bro. You have a project out, Lemon Squeeze. Yeah. How many tracks are on it? Shit, eight. Eight. Yeah. How long did that take you to make? Shit, not too long. I had it for a while. I just didn't put it out for a long time. Like, and everybody was like, and, and you didn't put it out right away because you were, you just weren't feeling the timing, or because you're a harsh yeah, critiquer. The timing, then like you know, I had other shit to deal with before I, you know, what I'm saying, I had all the steps to even drop my tape. So, but eventually, I got there. So, stop now. Go get that on the squeeze. Yeah, check it out on all platforms. Yeah. Where do you prefer for to people to really check it out? Shit. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. Okay. Shit. You could go on Amazon. Find out all of that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I got an EP I'm dropping. Uh called Lemon Boy. So that's coming soon. And uh Is it just you on the track? Uh I think I'm gonna have one feature. One feature. Did you play oh, did you play it on your story? No, not at all. Oh damn. No, I, no. I thought I catch that. I played nothing for Lemon Boy in my story. But I played uh, all the lemon squeeze on there. Who per- do, if you want to mention it, you don't have to, like I said. Any question that doesn't make you feel comfortable, you don't have to answer. But who do you go to to produce your stuff? Uh, uh, for that tape, I did it at Rock and Royal. They produced that. They produced that whole tape. But, uh, 
And by the way, man, I'm no kind of sore like in like, you know, I'm no historyist or anything. Um, is that a big label, uh, uh local owned business? Uh, label? What, the Rock and Roll? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, I say local owned. Like their studio. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out. Right. You go check them out. Shout out Rock Royal. Did we talk about collabs? Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. Um, I Looney. Got, I got a. Uh, yeah, we talked about my first collab. That's what we talked about. Yeah, yeah, and it was Looney, right? Yeah. But, um, you want to know all my collabs? Yeah, I was going to say, when did you, when, when is, what is your first track with LDC? Uh, Ghetto Superstar. It's oh, on, really? it's on YouTube. And it's under LGC? No, it's, uh, it's under something else, uh, IMZ. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you gotta find that. Mm -hmm. I definitely try to check it out, man. Yeah, for sure. It's a whole lot of stuff like we got like yeah um, videos and stuff that we used to have. Yeah, uh, which was. <sighs> Cause I seen you in um, what's it called? Fuck it up. Fuck it up with K K V Dre. I was in, I was on the song. No, no, you weren't on the song. You were in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would bring it up, but I, I didn't have a time, bro. But um, I don't be remembering, but you're. Yeah, I probably was there. <laughs> you're not. KV in them. I think I'm always red shirt. Him anyway. Red shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was that before or after City is Up? Shit. That was before City is Up. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that was before. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, you're, you're. We talked about your plans, right, for this year. Yeah, I'm uh. Releasing just on my music, yeah. some more tapes. You know what I'm saying I'm working on this EP, and I got a project that I'm working on. An EP is just one, or is it how many is that? Yeah, it's just one. It's uh, it's gonna have three songs on, it. Hmm. just three. So how many are you in? How many tracks in total are you trying to bust out this year? Shit, as many as I can, as long as I'm breathing. And that is the in yeah. Is that including features as well, collaborations? Yes, definitely. I want to collab with a lot of like rock for artists. You know what I'm saying? If they down, I'm down. Who, are, who do you have in mind right now if you want to mention that? I still want a lot more with Kenny Rounds, KV, yeah. Dre. You know what I'm saying? I want to do something with Kilo G. Nah, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout Rocket. out him. Shout out them. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Had him on the podcast, bro. I didn't know he did music, but I found him out because we worked at the same. I worked at the same uh, job as him, and some guy, some other coworker, played some of his music. He showed me, bro. Like, oh shit! Yeah, 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 man. Sure. I definitely do music, bro. <laughs> and I didn't know this, bro, because he was just quiet, bro. He was just quiet. So when he was playing him, like, that's my ham, bro. Yeah, that's how I go. <laughs> he be thinking. 
<laughs> yeah, bro. That's... Thinking of a master plan on most of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with me. I thought just because, you know, you do music doesn't mean you're kind of like a out social person. Yeah, who, me? No, no, like, in in my eyes, my, my opinion, like, if you were in music or you do music, mm-hmm. like, you know, rap and stuff, like, you're more out, like, social, you know? Yeah, I feel that, I guess, but... You don't have to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have to be. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to know about us artists, bro. Yeah. <laughs> For real. You could be. We're heading to the jukebox hour, guys. We're going to play some Squeezo songs and talk a little bit. Talk a little bit about them afterwards to see how they came about. Um. Yeah, uh, after I pause. But if you want to sing along, you can if you want. Uh, you know that I'm trying to fuck. I know that I'm trying to fuck. We've been texting back and forth for a minute. Her nigga accounts on the to break up. I was just scrolling down my timeline when I seen that she put that single status up. Warm up. My- That's your heart. Nah, no, bro. I was going to say, <laughs> what made you want to go with that beat? Shit. My grandma's like Michael Jackson. Yeah, and I like Michael Jackson, so I yeah, had to yeah. go crazy. And that was my favorite, like, Michael Jackson song, like, of a remake of a beat. So I had to go crazy. Was, was this young, or were you older and just somehow the song I was came about, up? Yeah, I was older. Okay. Yeah, I was older. Definitely. And you, did you remember, or did, somehow did this song just play somewhere, and you're like, I want to remember next song? It plays somewhere and I want to remix it. Like I heard it on like radio. I don't know where I heard it. I think I just heard it on YouTube. Probably. Yeah. So I was like, shit, if I find a beat of this motherfucker, I'm gonna remix it. So I did. Yeah, shit went hard. I mean, I don't see a date. I am kind of new to this app though. You know, I, uh, the SoundCloud. Cause uh, fucking on Spotify, I can't pick the what's called Indiv- individual song. I have to uh, shuffle it. But uh, when did you? How old is this this track? Uh, rocking. Yeah. Shit. It's more a than year a year or two. Oh, a year. A year or two. Maybe a year and a half. Hey, that's hard. That shit hard. Dude, I also like the video. Thank you. Did you shoot that here in Rockford? Yeah. I, I think I want to, I think I know the spot, but I, I don't want to say on camera. Yeah, but, sure. yeah, uh, yeah, dude, definitely dope. Yeah, that was, um, that was shot by Loso. Shout out him. Shout out, him. Shout out him. And then the beat was made by, uh, Rock Royal. You know what I'm okay. saying? Rock Royal made that beat, you know what I'm saying? Dude that, dude that worked there, his name was, uh, Jake Ortiz. He made that. He just brought it to you. He was like, hey, listen to this. Yeah, he gave it to me for free. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, shout out. Love. Shout out to him. Oh, yeah. What made you want to make a video? Or did, did you make the track and then somebody listened to it and said, we got to make a video out of it? Shit. I was just anxious. I wasn't patient uh, back then, so I did it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. But are you more patient now? Yeah. At least I'm learning to be. But I am. I'm as patient as I'm gonna be right now. And are you learning? When would you say you kind of learned this? Making the squeeze out stuff? 
a little bit before this piece of stuff. Um, Yeah. A little bit before. A little bit before. I hope I'm not asking you too many questions. No, no, oh, you're okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm we're just gonna play uh I mean, are you okay with this bro or is this too much? No, that's good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean like I said, I'm just playing with it, bro. If I send you this thing and you don't like it, we can like, just chop it up. Yeah, chop it up. Sure. Just play. Let me take you to the high. I got some shit with the glue. Pull it up, I'm cutting these boots. Run it up, I can do it with shoes. So, bro, also a song that you performed at the, the Toaster. Yeah, 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 the food drive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, uh, Take You to the Eye. Yeah. That shit go crazy. Yeah. How'd you come up with that? Shit, I was like going through beats. And then I was trying to find a beat that like sound like island. Like we going to island or something like that. And that was like the perfect sound, like it sounded like some flutes. I know that I dude I, I was really I really move with the beat. Yeah, that shit hard to catch your ear, so I had to do it. And like that was mine. Uh, how long did this one take you? Shit, not long. I did it like in a day. I did my day. Yeah, yeah. Hold record. Hell yeah, yeah. As soon as I could. I was like, man, right now I had to do it as soon as I was feeling. So. Yeah, dude, sometimes I be listening to the music thinking you guys take like days to weeks. Yeah. I mean, you guys tell me like a couple of days. But you guys, not right away, but you guys kind of like cook it little by little, right? Yeah. It'd be like that, like with longer songs, but like shit that's in like a rush. Like when I be feeling it like that, yeah. I just got to do it and it be like that. Yeah, my, my bad, guys. I'm I'm wondering why it's cold, man. Like, what the fuck? Is the door open, bro? All right. No. It's like a breeze of cold. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, my bad, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, Yeah, we're at an uh, hour and 16 minutes, but I want to keep you guys hold up because it seems like it's cold. But, you know, at the end of the podcast, you know, I like to draw for my guests for giving me some of your time, bro. They're not the highest quality stickers, but just like some renderings of mine. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, it, even uh, it. This is the coolest thing you could have ever did. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Um, The thing is, like, <laughs> like, this. if I feel like if. Um, That's so hard. Yeah, you, you don't got to show the camera. Don't show me. Uh, perfect. Um, if I feel like I didn't do the right job because I got too, we got too high or I got too high, like yeah. at least you got something out of it, you know. Like, yeah, at least sure. uh, holding the headache, you know. You know, so yeah, I really appreciate it, man. My door's always open for you the second time if you want to come. You know, you let me know. Uh, you let me know when you're ready. You know. I for sure. Ready. Fucking high, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I said I like the the lemon idea because I always, I can play with some weird ass shit. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so cold. But I, yeah. I appreciate you. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No problem, man. Like I said, just thank you for coming by, bro. Like I really appreciate you. you're helping me because you know. Yeah, for sure. I've been like. I haven't really been out there, you know, so me doing this has been really like, weird and cool and like, working on socializing. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. So we got to start more connecting and uh, shit like that. Talking to more people. Yeah, man. And um, uh, just something quick, bro. What would you say to any young artist? Shit. 
Focus on what you feel. Don't try to be like nobody else. Shit, give it your all if you're going to do it if, in the first place. Right now, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. I mean, I'm not going to keep you up too much longer, man. Where should they look for you at? Uh, on YouTube at i 5 800 and look me up on Apple Music, Spotify, and shit, Amazon at Lemon Squeeze, Squeezo. Just look me up on all of those. And my Instagram will be IB underscore squeeze 800. And I think that's about it. <laughs> but thank you, man. And until then, guys, stay tuned and stay safe. Yeah, for sure. Thank you.